Good evening, everyone. I'm Rich Lloyd, President of Bryan College of Health Sciences. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, administration, faculty, and staff, welcome to this evening's ceremony. As we begin our celebration, I'd ask you to join me in a moment of reflection for each other, for our families, for our friends, for all frontline workers, for those we are caring for, for those recovering, and for those we've lost. These words are from Irish spiritualist and writer John O'Donohue from his work aptly titled, To Bless the Space Between Us. May I live this day compassionate of heart, clear in word, gracious in awareness, courageous in thought, generous in love. May we all be gracious, compassionate, courageous, and generous in love today and all days to follow. We gather tonight as a community to celebrate academic achievement and the successful completion of degree programs. As a school, we've been gathering this way since 1926. Thus, while tonight may be a first, a virtual graduation for us, know that our history of sending forth amazing graduates is a constant, even in challenging times. So as we wear our robes, hoods, and a wonderful assortment of cool hats, like this cool hat, we will confer degrees, offer congratulations, we'll flip tassels, and celebrate with family, friends, and loved ones. Tonight is a joyous occasion, another milestone in the life of our students and our college. It is a pleasure to welcome Russ Gronewald, President and Chief Executive Officer of Bryan Health, who wishes to offer his congratulations and to share a few words with you. Graduates, congratulations. Let me extend my own hearty congratulations to you. What, uh, what a wonderful time where now we can see the hard work and your perseverance paying off. And at this time, we know exactly what our grandparents met at this strange sort of time when they said, boy, just consider yourself lucky if you have a job. And you're going to have one. It's also a time when healthcare workers are being referred to as heroes. And we've certainly seen evidence of that, and I'm glad that people are finally recognizing the things that we see every day, not just during this pandemic, but every other day. But can I suggest that maybe you not spend too much time this, today thinking about the heroic aspect of the professions you've chosen? Because there are going to be many days when you get to your job where you're not treated like a hero. And there are going to be other days, mundane days and days where things just didn't go right where you won't feel very much like a hero. But let me suggest a couple of things that your professions are every day. The first one is noble. Congratulations for choosing a noble profession. That's something that healthcare professions have always been. But why have they been noble? Well, partly because the focus is on others and not yourself, which just recognizes the inherent humanity and dignity of every single human being. And partly because healthcare professions demand sacrifice, not running away from things like a pandemic, but stepping right into them. And that's noble, and that's what we do. But let me also congratulate you for choosing a cool profession. These days, it seems like gig jobs and startups, they're the cool things. But we're the ones who get to work with the latest drugs, the newest treatment, and the latest technology every day. Did you know that at Bryan we're using artificial intelligence in four clinical areas every single day? Even in this pandemic, we've been innovating. Bryan was the first in the state to do drive-through testing, to convert anesthesia machines to ventilators, to deploy telemedicine across the state. Yeah, the things we do are cool, but that's not the coolest part. The coolest part is that we get to see miracles every day. In fact, so many that we often take them for granted. So graduates, you have chosen professions that are very noble and very, very cool. And for that, I say congratulations.
Thank you, Russ. Wonderful words. Noble, heroic, selfless, cool. Thank you again for being here this evening. And now the time is here. Those years of dedication, of hard work, determination, perseverance, early mornings, late nights, have led each of you to this moment. It is time to receive your degree. Dr. Kelsey Anderson, please come to the podium to present our graduates. President Lloyd, on behalf of the Bryan College of Health Sciences School of Graduate Nursing, it is my pleasure to present five graduates who have met the requirements for the Doctor of Education degree. Melissa Jane Bloom. Holly Ann Chandler. Crystal Lynn Davis. Jenna Marie Dubas. April Lee Minster. This is Dr. Marcia Kuby, Dean of Graduate Nursing Programs. To all of the EDD graduates, I want to say a healthy congratulations. You made it. You climbed that mountain. While you're up there on that pinnacle, stop and take a look around. Think about all the things that you can do with your new degree. We're very happy for you. Congratulations. President Lloyd, on behalf of the Bryan College of Health Sciences School of Nurse Anesthesia, it is my pleasure to present 15 graduates who have met the requirements for the Doctor of Nurse Anesthesia Practice degree. Lauren Elizabeth Chiavetta. Tara Marie Dickey. Sebastian Eugene Edwards. Megan Elizabeth Gangwish. Brooke Nicole Griesen. Robin K. Heidbrink. Young L. T. Huang. Eric Joseph Johnson. Lindsay Ann Lafleur. Andrew Joseph Mosdom. Aaron Elizabeth Meyer. Carl Nessie. Chelsea Faith Rudloff. Kirby Candace Starasik. Rebecca K. Van Winkle. I'm Dr. Sharon Hadenfeld, Dean of the School of Nurse Anesthesia. On behalf of the faculty of the Doctor of Nurse Anesthesia Practice Program, I congratulate you on your achievement. Over the past three years, you have dedicated countless hours of study in the classroom and clinical environment. The clinical practice of nurse anesthesiology requires flexibility and you have been called upon to be flexible this past few months. You are all prepared to enter nurse anesthesia practice, providing vital services to the public. We look forward to your continued growth. Once again, congratulations. President Lloyd, on behalf of the Bryan College of Health Sciences School of Healthcare Studies, it is my pleasure to present four graduates who have met the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree in Biomedical Sciences. Samantha Ann Barlow. Jacob Dean Horstman. Caleb Clark Rice. Jeffrey Michael Schindler. Hello, my name is Dr. Amy Kenobi and I am the Dean of Healthcare Studies here at Bryan College of Health Sciences. I want to take a moment to congratulate our May 2020 Biomedical Sciences graduates, Jeff, Caleb, Jake, and Sammy, 
I hope each of you is taking a moment or two to reflect on how far you've come in the past four years. From not knowing how to operate a pipette to skillfully using one in your senior research project. From your first exposure to the anatomy cadaver to performing delicate and precise dissections and leading cadaver demonstrations for visiting groups. From struggling to light a Bunsen burner to becoming an expert at microbiology media preparation and inoculation. After four years of hard work, you were moving on. The faculty, staff, and students of the Biomedical Sciences program will certainly miss seeing you on campus, having you help out with summer camp, and working side by side with you. However, we know that each of you is ready for your own unique next step, and we cannot wait to see what you do next. From all of us in the Biomedical Sciences program, I want to wish you the very best of luck in the future and offer you congratulations today. President Lloyd, on behalf of the Bryan College of Health Sciences School of Healthcare Studies, it is my pleasure to present 11 graduates who have met the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree in Health Professions. Graduating with a dual major in Adult Cardiac and Vascular Sonography. Cassa Lee Broomfield. David Earl Dunning. Faith Summer Fellhofer. Mia Caitlin Hermanson. Sydney Marie Ingalls. Caitlin Marie Justice. Brady Scott Langmeyer. Madeline Paige Mozak. Kylie Marie Norcross. Maddie Melissa Stowell. Graduating with a major in Diagnostic Medical Sonography, Randa J. Klein. Congratulations to the May 2020 Sonography graduates. As you look back on the time you have spent working towards your degree, you should be incredibly proud of everything you have accomplished. Your degree has demanded a lot of you. First, you put hours into the classroom, learning physics, anatomy, physiology. Next, you put hours into the skills lab with your faculty picking up a transducer for the first time, and developing the critical psychomotor skills for your chosen profession. Finally, you put hours into your clinical rotations, developing and refining your skills as a sonographer. After all of these hours, you are finally ready to move on and to begin your professional career. As you do, know that we will be proud to call you graduates of our program, and that we have no doubt you are ready to leave your mark on the profession. Congratulations again, and best of luck in your new career. President Lloyd, on behalf of the Bryan College of Health Sciences School of Undergraduate Nursing, it is my pleasure to present 52 graduates who have met the requirements for a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. Rebecca Marie Berner. Nia Marie Bickert. Southern Faith Bowler. Morgan Catherine Brocht. Tyler John Brandt. Lisa Marie Bryant. Jessica Elaine Buffington. Jacqueline Nicole Burrier. Morgan Sage Cardwell. Samantha Lynn Clark. Megan Elise Davis. Samantha Lynn Dirkschneider. Kaylin Dunham. Jacqueline Joan Fink. Jenna Jane Fink. Bethany Rose Focher. 
Madison Marie Fricky, Jasmine Denise Hahn, Alyssa Ann Haynes, Kayla Louise Heflin, Paige Alexis Heinke, Kim Tho Thi Huang, Alexandra Taylor Hopkins, Betsy Jean Holden, Whitney Marie Hubner, Miranda Brooke Yen, Caitlin Jean Johnson, Casey Marie Jurgens, Patrick Thomas Kelly, Bailey May Kanabi, Shelby Lynn Koba, Shayla Jade Lowey, Carrie Joan Like. Mackenzie Jane Linneman, Laura Ann Matini, Amanda Jane Munt, Kelsey Siobhan Nevels, Madeline Lauren Naker, Priscilla Lee Petch. Brittany Lynn Robinson, Katie Ann Rumshek, Emily Rose Sagstetter, Alyssa Marie Samick, Jamie Lee Simons, Jessica Audra Thompson. Lauren Lee Toos, Nicole Marie Tomlinson, Sarah Janae Tapinka, Rachel Leanne Town, Morgan Kate Erling, Danielle Marie Wilkinson. Shayna Brianne Young. Hello, I am Dr. Teresa Delahoy, Dean of Undergraduate Nursing at Bryan College of Health Sciences. On behalf of the faculty and administration, we would like to congratulate you on earning your Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. Although we cannot be with you physically, know that we are with you in spirit. You are entering the nursing profession during a pivotal time in our history and we know that each one of you will be instrumental in making a difference, no matter where your careers take you. As you begin your journey as a registered nurse, we hope that you look back fondly on the quality of education you have received at Bryan College of Health Sciences. We are proud of you and all of your accomplishments. Congratulations. Graduates, this is the cool and fun part. I invite you to please stand as you're able. And take note, this is a great opportunity to snap photos and share them. If you have your cap with you, now's the time to put it on. By the authority vested in me, by the Board of Trustees of Bryan College of Health Sciences, I confer upon you your degree and the rights and privileges thereunto appertaining. Graduates, you may now move those tassels. Would all of you online join us in congratulating our graduates? And graduates, I would ask that you in turn please join me in thanking your faculty, your family, and friends who have played such an important role in your success. Tonight's ceremony is ending, but it is just the beginning of the next step in each of your journeys. 
You have been and will continue to be part of the Bryan family, and you are always most welcome. All of us would love to see you back on campus when conditions allow. Never forget that you are blue healers. You are prepared for more, to live lives of meaning and purpose, to do the good work you're trained for, and to extend that healing work to your families, your communities, and to those in need. As the Reverend Barbara Brown Taylor so powerfully puts it, quote, every human interaction offers you the chance to make things better or to make things worse, end quote. You are Brian graduates. We know you will be a healer and a helper, that you will make things better. Our very best to each of you, and congratulations again from your Bryan College of Health Sciences family. Enjoy the rest of your evening celebration, and please share some of your posts with us. Congratulations again. Good night. Thank you.